Hey guys, welcome back. Trying something a little different, or at least my with my review station, I put my drawers where I keep my collectible minifigures back here, so I gotta have some like space here. Just thought it'd be interesting as a background. Probably not gonna be forever, but or it's probably not gonna be like this forever, but I'll, I'll try it out for a while, see what happens. But um. Yeah, on my table here I have 76198, Spider-Man and Doc Ock Mech Battle, with 305 pieces, retailing for $20, so that's a pretty good deal. Two minifigures, Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man of course. Let's get straight into this. Here's our first figure, which is Spider-Man, and it's a really common version of Spider-Man. It's also, well at least the one with the dual mode of the legs, is really peak, the only thing I think they could do better is add the black line printing onto the feet that would be really great and amazing but it's probably not gonna happen so yeah and also it's a little the coloring is a little bit off on the red on the blue arms but otherwise it's a really great figure but it's also everywhere so really kinda gonna get annoying with the next few years when I get a bunch of these sets it also comes with these web blasters which they've been here forever we know I'll, I'll know how they work you just push on it and it shoots I'm never finding that that went under my desk yeah let's get on to the next figure here is Dr. Octopus which I think this version looks pretty good it's kind of somewhat based off of the uh Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man PS4 video game. So that's pretty cool or pretty neat. The hair piece can come off. He's got a second face where he's more, where he has more of a frown. Yeah, this torso printing is really good. He unfortunately doesn't become with, or he doesn't come with pieces to attach the uh, uh, arms to him. But I'll show you what you can do if you want to do that near the end of the video, so I'll show you that later. Let's get on to the builds. Starting off here with Spider-Man's, which is, I think, our third or fourth version of the Spider-Man mech. Yeah, well, if you count Miles Morales, it'd be four. But yeah, we have so many Spider-Man mechs, which I think this one is pretty good. It's not bad, but... There's just a lot. I think the first version was already pretty good. This one might be a little bit better. But it's not a lot different. But yeah, you got a little web piece here. These can be like thrusters or something. You've got a little clip here to add web handcuffs. And yeah, the webs are clear, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you push that down... Got a little slot there for your Spider-Man to sit, and now he's in the mech. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about this. It's kind of going to be repetitive for a while. They're changing up, or they're adding character with the newer ones, or with uh, the one with... Okay, they're adding new characteristics with, to the uh, one that's coming in Green Goblin. I think that's already out, but... Yeah, I probably won't be getting that one, because it's just another Spider-Man. Don't really have a desire to get another Green Goblin, so, yeah. I guess that's it for the Spider-Man mech. And here's the Dr. Octopus mech, which is really cool, because you got all four arms, which you can move all on their own, or not on their own, but you, you get what I mean. They got all four, or they got four... What would it be? Pinchers? I don't know what they call call them. This one just looks really good, and it doesn't have a clip, so that makes it look really nice. Pull this down, it actually comes down pretty far. Stick your Doc Ock figure in there, and now you have the full mech, and it looks cool. My only complaint is that the arm kind of runs into this arm, so yeah, that's about it. And mine came a little loose, it doesn't stand up very well. And that piece just flew off. So I gotta put it straight back on. There we go. But yeah, my legs 
are just loose. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if you can fix that. But, oh well, whatever. You got stickers here and a, and a sticker there. But yeah, I think, I think, yeah, these two are stickers as well. So, not liking the sticker count here because it's a bit, but I just really like this mech. Looks really great. And let's get on to the uh, instructions and the box, and then I'll show you the uh, attachment to put on all of Doc Ock's arms. And then with the instructions, we got two manuals, one for Spider-Man. We got the pieces, all the pieces in this one. And then no advertisements, which is kind of weird. This one might have the, yeah, this one has the advertisements for all the sets out at the time. I think most of these are retired now. This one is still out there, though. But I haven't seen this one in a while. And that one, I haven't seen in a while. And you got the other mechs. Which I think all three of these are retired as well. So, yeah, if you want them, get them now. Because they're only going to go up in value. And then we got the box here. Which looks really nice. You got a city background. Otherwise, it's not the best box. But it looks okay. Hey, more city in the background. But, yeah, that's it for the box. Let me get the attachments. So, what you need to do, grab your Dr. Octopus mech, take him out, take his head, and I guess his hair as well, off, take one of these pieces, if you can focus, and one of these, colored really doesn't matter, but you just stick it on there, boop, boop, then, it's kind of tedious, you gotta take off all of all four of the arms and move around the camera and you just stick them on each peg or bar whatever you want to call it but it looks really great you can position position them however you want however you please <laughs> And I think it's our best looking Dr. Octopus we've ever had. Personally, at least. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, guess it's time to end, because this kind of threw me off. I don't usually do stuff like this, but um, I'm not going to keep this modded. But I'll, if I ever want to play around with the Dr. Octopus, I know what to do. <laughs> Isn't it standing up? Okay, so. Um, I do now have an Instagram and a Twitch. I, I'll link it down in the description. I've had it for a while. Really only my friends and a couple of people that are, were already. I don't think most. I don't think any of my subscribers are really following it. But. Um. I just kept forgetting to promote it, so I'm promoting it now. Um, I have a Twitch and Instagram. I'll link it down there. I also had a TikTok for a little bit. I don't use it anymore, really. I don't post. I've posted a few videos. I just don't like it a lot. I like making longer videos, but I'll link that there just in case. Maybe if I get more followers, I'll post more. But yeah, just thought it was worth the mention. Um... So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Um, Multiverse of Badness is coming out this Friday, so I'll have a video up for that, and I'm gonna go see it soon. So that's cool. I'll, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.